Hey, welcome to the Insurance Buzz. I am your host, Michael Weaver, and today I'm going to be talking about how to increase your client retention by 10% in the next 90 days. How about them apples? Improving by 10% in the next 90 days. All right, keeping customers from leaving you. That's exactly what I'm going to be talking about today because I know the market right now is not easy. I know that rates are going up. I know claims are going sideways. I know shit is hitting the fan. All right. You're dealing with these calls every single day. You're dealing with cancellations every single day. And the whole point of this episode is to help minimize, all right, to help minimize your customers leaving you. So what can you do instantly? This is something that I, I always love to do in business. And uh, what it is, is it's a, it's a campaign. So I want you to print out a list right now of all of your customers, every single customer. I want you to print out a list, print it out. All right. And I want you and everyone in your office to take time, 30 minutes a day, every single day, every single day. All right, this is how you will get this done quickly and efficiently in an organized manner. So for 30 minutes every single day, every single person in your agency, yes, sales producers included, are calling and saying, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for your business. And then, and then, it's just not a thank you call. It's just not a building rapport call. It is then scheduling an appointment to meet with the customer, either in person or virtually, but you have to meet with your customers to establish and retain the relationship that you have with them. And not only that, when you meet with the customer, I can guarantee you are going to uncover a need, a problem that they have that you can solve, hint, hint, life insurance, maybe health insurance, maybe investments, maybe all of the above, all right? There is a lot going on right now with the economy, with your customers, and right now is the time where you can do what you do best and you talk to them about things that nobody else is talking about. So how this goes is you're gonna call, bam, run a list, 30 minutes, call. Hey, John, this is Michael from your insurance agency. How you doing? Take three to five minutes to build rapport, family, occupation, recreation, all right? What's going on? How have you been? How, the, how are the kids? How are the grandkids? How's work? All right, you got any vacations planned this year? Well, hey, the reason for the call today is I was just giving you a call to say thank you so much for your business. I appreciate you and I appreciate your support. Also, also, it's been quite a while since we've met and we reviewed all of your policies to make sure everything's up to date and that you're saving as much money as possible. When would be a good time in the next few days to put on the calendar for 30 to 45 minutes to come into the office and review everything and catch up? There we go, in the next few days. I don't want this scheduled a month down the road. When works in the next few days? Or if you're calling on a Monday or Tuesday, hey, when works Thursday or Friday? So that is the word track for in-person appointments. It's the same thing for virtual. Hey, John, this is Michael from your insurance agency. How you doing, man? How you been? All right, again, build rapport for three to five minutes. The reason for the call today, I've given you a call just to simply say thank you. Thank you so much for your business and support. It truly means the world to us here at the agency. I also noticed that it's been a while since we've met up, since we've reviewed everything that you have. I wanna make sure that we're doing a good job here, that your policies are updated, that you're saving as much money as possible. When would be a good time in the next two or three days to put on the calendar for a 30 to 45 minute virtual appointment? That's it. It's that simple. All right, so that's tip number one. Thank you calls, schedule appointments. This will help with the relationship with the customer and it will help them from leaving you when the rates are going up. In addition to this, all of your new customers that you are writing, you need to onboard them. All right, you need to onboard your new customers so they don't leave you in six months, 12 months, 18 months. So onboard your brand new customers doing the same thing, setting in-person and virtual appointments right when you close the business, right when you, right when you collect payment information. If you do these two things right now, call every single person in your book of business, tell them thank you, schedule the appointment, and on all new business moving forward, you are scheduling appointments, onboarding appointments with them, you will see 
a retention increase, all right, of 10% in your book of business over the next 90 days. It is easier to work with and keep current clients than it is to write new clients. It just makes sense from a business standpoint, from profitability standpoint, and working with people that already know you, like you, trust you, and pay you every single month, every six months, every, every year, all right? It just makes sense. Do the work, take care of your current customers, and reap the rewards, all right? So, with that being said, I appreciate you, appreciate your support of the buzz. I hope you got a lot out of today. If you're going to run and implement this, text me, let me know, 816-727-7610. Other than that, time is your most valuable asset, time and attention, all right, baby? So I appreciate you spending time with me today on The Buzz. Go out and make it great. <laughs> 